In this episode, we're going to start um, putting in all the skills that we've learned in the previous episode into making a very easy and short animation. So once again, I am back on my um, Adobe Flash welcome screen. We're going to start a new Flash file, ActionScript 3.0. And what I'm going to do is we're going to try to make um, some ocean waves sort of move. Um, we're going to have a scene in the ocean where there's like a puff of fish swimming around and it sees a shark coming and then it will grow into a very big puff of fish. So this episode will just focus on the ocean waves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my rectangle tool and just very roughly draw four rectangles across the screen, okay? It's roughly about the same size. Um, I've selected a dark blue color because, you know, it's a very appropriate color for the ocean. So I've got my four sort of blue rectangles here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, have my selection tool clicked on. I'm going to just going to move the mouse up to the top line of the rectangle until the cursor, like um, until there's a curved line below the mouse button. So I'm going to do it again. So if I have a mouse here, see how it's just got like a little two arrows perpendicular to each other underneath the mouse clicker. If I move it close to the top line, that becomes a curved line. That means now I can manipulate the top line of that rectangle. I'm just going to move that a bit up like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the second rectangle, move it down. Same thing to the third rectangle, move it up. Same thing to the last rectangle, move it down. So it sort of becomes like a smooth ocean wave. So like any other animation, we're going to double click to open up our timeline. I'm gonna go all the way to frame 100. Have that selected and I'm going to right click and insert a keyframe. What I'm gonna do again is on making sure that my last frame, my frame 100 is selected, I'm going to have my selection tool selected and I'm going to move my shape like before. Okay, so making sure the curved line is below the arrow, I'm going to move this one downwards, move this line upwards, move this line of the third rectangle downwards, and move this line of the last rectangle upwards. Okay, now if I scrub my timeline, it goes original ocean wave and then all of a sudden bang new ocean wave so what I'm going to do to have a smooth morphing of the ocean waves I'm going to go to one of the frames in the middle so say frame 50 okay and I'm going to insert a shape tween because shape tween does a very smooth morphing so I'm going to insert my shape tween so like before all, um, all our frames are now light green and there's a solid black line with an arrow at the end that shows us that we've got a shape tween inserted. So now if I scrub my timeline, I will see that there is a slow morphing of the ocean wave so that it looks like my ocean is moving. So let's just test our movie. Go to control, test movie, and there should be a very smooth sort of ocean waves moving up and down. 